Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with an, another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an X507M model. And in this laptop, we're gonna do an upgrade on the hard drive. We're gonna remove the mechanical hard drive and we're gonna replace it with a solid state drive or as it called SSDs. These SSDs are really fast, uh, much faster than regular mechanical drive as they don't have any platters or anything like that and the speed write and reads are much much faster so it will be a really huge upgrade for any laptop to install an ssd so pretty much i'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to install the new ssd inside the laptop first thing first and uh, this applies for any asus x500 series so if they have 508 or 500 9M series, this applies for the same, pretty much is the same. All right, first thing first, you need few tools. You wanna to flip over the laptop, you wanna grab yourself a screwdriver set. I highly recommend you guys this iFixit tool set. They come with all the bits that you need for any laptop or any cell phone. And we are gonna be using bit number zero Phillips. Also, you will be needing an opening tool. You can use an opening tool that comes in the set with an iFixit, or in the cheaper version, um, my preferred version is a guitar pick. You can grab any guitar, metallic guitar pick. These are perfectly to open um, electronics. All right, now let's go ahead and remove all the screws at the bottom cover. And just remember that a little bit uh, size differences are in between the other screws. First, we're gonna start by the hinges. Two corner, one on every corner by the hinges. These are the thicker screws and medium size screws. So these ones are a little bit thick. So put this apart. You wanna just write that on a paper or organize it the way you want to. These are a little bit thicker on diameter. Next, the triangle in the middle, right here, there's one in the middle and two mid backs. These are the long screws put this one to one side so they're pretty much a short and long then we have the one on every side mid side one here and that one right there these are the medium long ones a little bit shorter than the centered one all right next we have the four in the front side in the front row these four are the same size but they are shorter than the rest of the screws all right, once we got to this position, now what you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit, just like this. And you wanna stick the guitar pick between the bottom and top and the bottom cover. Just somehow manage, try to manage it right there. You wanna stick it about one or two millimeter inward and then you wanna just twist it and you wanna hear some clips clicking. You wanna do that all the way to the sides in front over to the sides all the way to the back corner same thing on this side there we go once you got it all the way there now you want to open up the laptop you want to grab the top cover and put your finger right by the hinges and just lift up a little bit not too much same thing on this side there. Now you don't want to yank this top cover because there's a ribbon cable. You want to close it down 45 degrees, just in this position. Now you want to lift up the cover here and underneath you're going to see a flexor for the flex cable for the keyboard and the touchpad. Let me see if I can focus on this one right there. To remove this flex cable right here, you don't want to yank it out. You want to lift up this white cover 90 degrees and then the ribbon cable will come out. On the keyboard is the black one. The black one has to come 90 degrees and then the ribbon cable will just come loose. All right, now you can go ahead and lift up the top cover. All right, down here, the hard drive is right away here. Mine has a little labor because of the client. Now to access this one, let's go ahead and remove this ribbon cable. Again, just by lifting up the same way that you lift up the cable for the 
touchpad, the same one over here. Just lift up the lock and pull out the cable. Now, we're gonna remove three screws, one, two at the back of the hard drive caddy. Okay. And one right here. You have to lift up this plastic and you're gonna see it. There's a big star right beside it. Now, all you need to do is to pull this caddy towards the, uh, this empty space. Just like that. And now you're gonna see the separation on the contacts right there. Now you can go ahead and lift up the hard drive caddy. So what we're gonna do, we wanna remove these four screws Two on this side and two on the other side. Remember the position of the contacts right here. So you want to grab your SSD drive and you want to mount it in the same position. You don't want to put it the other way around. Okay. All right, now that we removed the screws, the hard drive will come up pretty easy. So in the same position, put it to one side, grab the new one, put it right there. Make sure the screw holes match and screw it down. You do not need to remove the battery to do this process. So don't worry about anything. Oh, you have must remove the battery. No, it's not a must. As long as you power down the laptop, you can do this safely without any problem. All right, now that we put the four screws on the caddy and the connectors are the same position. You want to put it down in an offset position and then with this gap right there and then you just want to slide it down towards the motherboard. Make sure these two screws holes match and then put the three screws for the caddy. Now just remember uh, when you want to boot up the laptop it's not going to have any operating system installed. So what you want to do you want to uh, grab yourself a USB stick 8 gigs and go to my description and go to the link on the website windows website and download the program it will automatically burn it into the usb drive and then you can put the usb drive in inside the computer and boot it up and in follow the simple instructions and you get your windows installed uh, freshly installed in windows and if you have any problem with that just send me in the comments and i'll try to help you guys out all right now that we put the cable back in we lift out the hinge and just slide the cable underneath Make sure the rest of the cables are not on the way. Okay. Now what you want to do, you want to grab the top cover and you want to put it in a 44, the back side first. You want to bring it down slowly. Now what you want to do, you want to lift up this lock 90 degrees and slide down from the back the ribbon cable for the keyboard make sure it goes all the way in evenly has to go nice and even and then close the lid same thing for this one open up the lid stick the ribbon cable right underneath the connector hold it and then close the lock on top you see my keyboard flex is not evenly in. There's a white line right there. It's like all the way. It's not even. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open it up again. I'm going to try to align it again. Make sure it's nice and even. And then I'm going to close it. Nice evenly underneath. Now next, you just want to close up the lid. And you want to pinch the, all the sides in front. Open it up and push down the side at the back. And now close up the laptop, flip it over. And now we're gonna put all the screws. Remember the two black thick ones goes in the corners and the rest. And I really hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If it did, click that thumbs up button. And if you have any requests or questions, leave them in the comment area. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Again, the longest ones are the mid triangle one, so the mid three. And the medium long ones are the corner ones. 
and the short ones are the four short ones, the front end. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.